watch. It's nice to know that even in a post-apocalyptic zombie world, you can still find love. I saw this movie with my boyfriend and it made me want to simultaneously make out with him and eat his brains. You're the first person to say that and uh, <laughs> I'm taking it as a compliment and I'm glad. <laughs> if a zombie ate your sure. brains, what memories of yours would they see? Okay, the first things that pop out? Yeah. Let's go with um, <laughs> hugging my mom after graduation, Aww. crying. Ooh. Good start. You um, cried in a cap and gown? Yeah, we have a picture of it. I'm picturing it. it's on the fridge. It's very <laughs> embarrassing, but I'm saying it out loud to the world right now. No, I did roll the four-wheeler once. That was quite fun. Oh, my God. You rolled it? Yeah, it was a bit of a BA. Badass. <laughs> <laughs> Probably just see little flashbacks of, like, me growing up playing, playing in the garden, riding bikes. Eating stuff. Eating stuff like just... dirt. Okay, I was gonna go with the sandwich. Climbing, but climbing dirt. trees. I loved climbing trees. Really? Yeah. What is it about climbing trees? I took sandwiches up trees. Sandwiches. Camp and have lunch up trees. Nice. I might start doing I that could. again. Recently, um, I was standing over a volcano, and I thought that was pretty cool. It was one of those yeah. moments of like, hey, I'm on a volcano. Wow. Yeah. I'm Inactive, like, I hope. It. it um, I hope too. It, <gasps> I think... If someone ate your brains, go ahead. What memories would they see? In your noggin. Oh God, nothing. It's a blank slate up there. I swear <laughs> to God, I'm empty. I'm completely empty. You're an I'm not a good. I'm not a. I'm, I don't have a good memory for anything. I kind of don't either. Yeah. So I feel like it'd just be kind of like a jumble of of weird images that don't make sense. Like a tin can. Yeah. And then just inexplicably <laughs> like, like Shakira. My mother. Probably. She's in there somewhere. Shakira. Yeah. Your she mom. shows up. She shows up every <laughs> once in a while. I don't understand, but he's changing and. He feels, and he's learning to be human again. Oh my god, is that him? Yeah. So, Are you much of a Valentine's Day person? Do you celebrate it? Yeah, of course. I am a huge believer in love. Um, I That's one of the reasons why I wanted to do this movie, though, because I know that warm bodies at the core of the story, really what it's about is that love can heal and love breathes life back into people. So absolutely. So do you spend Valentine's Day breathing life back into people? Yeah, absolutely. Making out, all sorts of things. <laughs> do you play music like R does in the movie to set the mood? I think I used to. I had this Coldplay DVD. Yes, And I cool. put that on. And so not only you had the music, but the visuals. Right. And uh, hey, Chris Martin puts him in the mood. Yellow, He's... you're in. There it is. Sexual healing. Ooh, <laughs> Marvin Gaye, the classic. The Hot Chip has, has an excellent version of it too. You know, I think you can't go, go terribly wrong with that. And it's very direct. Right. You just, there's none of that awkward, like, Oh, what are we here for? Yeah. Oh, just you know. Turn on sexual healing. And, just... and it's question answered. Uh, for a real romantic yeah. night, probably like uh, Black Flag. <laughs> the Henry Rollins. Sure. Black Flag, not. Nothing yeah. gets me in the mood like Henry Rollins. Yeah, yeah. Can I get yeah. a pound on that? Yeah. TV party tonight, maybe that. <laughs> <laughs> kind of not kidding. <laughs> I had a tussle with some gentlemen outside, and I wanted to get your opinion on whether or not I should tussle. Go to the... Hospital. Now wait a minute. Yeah. That fake wound is starting to flake. We should get somebody in I know. here. You were wrong, Cordry. You were wrong. Zombie, zombie, zombie. <laughs>